What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about YouTube. I want to talk about why I was nervous to do YouTube, what, how hard is it to do YouTube, and what's happening now and my results after doing what I was scared to do. I'll admit it, I was scared to vlog. I didn't want to go on camera. I didn't want to be sitting here talking to you guys. I just thought when I started YouTube, I would show my vehicles racing and it would get me a lot of views. I really did. I thought I had two great vehicles at the time. I thought uh, my channel would blow up and I had, you know, the 18, uh, 18 Mustang GT PP1, which at the time that was the pinnacle of Ford. That was the fastest vehicle Ford was producing at the time. Now the GT500 is. And, but at the time, the automatic PP1, Ford was claiming it to be their fastest car pretty much they ever made, uh, current years. And I had the 18 Raptor matching. They were both matching vehicles. And I really thought I had a, you know, a package there that people would want to see and like watching and I was gonna put them through their paces. I was gonna off-road the truck, I was gonna take it to the track. I was gonna take my car to the track, beat the shit out of it and show you guys quoted times if I could meet them or if I couldn't. And it kind of blew up on me. It kind of went sideways. Uh, I think the issues with my car kind of hurt my channel. I mean, I know people don't like hearing negative stuff about their vehicles. Definitely if it's their, a car that they own and they just love it, and they, you know I mean, they're obsessed with it and they, they don't wanna hear no one saying bad stuff about it. But my car, did have issues guys I can't go around and saying it didn't have issues and I'm not here to on this vlog to talk about all the issues it had but I had issues with my car now the truck great the Raptor the 18 Raptor was perfect that truck was I beat the shit out of that truck I raced it I off-road it and it came back and always wanted more it never had an issue with that truck I'll never say a bad thing about the 18 Raptor it was a great truck um, all around that trucks refined after 17 the 17 it did have a little bit of issues downshifting we had a 17 too but the 18 perfect truck, I'll tell you, it was, I boost launch that truck, it never had a problem doing it. To this day, it's it's been, a, it was a great truck, and now we have the 19, so. The Raptors are great. My Mustang, I'm not saying all of them are bad, but mine was just a bad lemon. It was a bad seed out of the bunch, I guess you wanna call it. So, when I got the problems with my car, I got a lot of people hating on me, saying that I'm a liar, and uh, I'm making stuff up, and I'm over-exaggerating, and I'm, I had a good car bought back, you know what I mean? I was a stupid ass and this and that. Guys, I wouldn't have my car bought back if it wasn't an issue. If I didn't see problems coming in the future with it, I wouldn't have had the car bought back. I mean, I didn't want to build off a car that was going to be bad. And everything I'm doing now to my 14 was planned for my 18. I was going to do everything I'm doing to my 18, you know, 14 to my 18. It was not like I wasn't going to do it, but at the time when I had my 18, I got my problems so early on in stages that my wife, thank God, God bless her, and I don't really believe in her God, but. I thank her in every way that she told me, uh, don't mod it. She said, leave it stock for a year. Let's see what happens. Because early on, I started hearing sounds in the motor. And it was thanks to, the, like I said, Michael Mack before. I watched his videos. He was one of the first guys I saw on YouTube putting it on. Not saying he was the first, but one of the guys I was following at the time because he had a supercharger on his car. And I loved his car. He uh, started talking about his tick. So I went out and listened to him. My car had the tick. Wasn't it, bad? it wasn't as bad as what it got to be near the end. And so my YouTube, it seems like people got really uh, mad at me because of the, um, the talking to tick. And uh, I'm not saying it was a bad thing, guys. I'm not saying that I wouldn't, I, I might've done the same thing because it did seem like I was dramatizing it a lot, but it was the truth. I mean, I'd put out tick videos a lot because they were just, it was annoying to spend so much money in a car and it's having problems. So now, I want this channel to go to where it's more about me working on my car, me talking about cars, uh, doing like what other guys are doing. And I think that I can do this stuff. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Um, I know I'm opinionated on some things and I have probably sometimes the worst opinion, but I hope people don't mind watching it. Just, you know, some people will agree with my stuff. Some people won't. If you don't, you can always comment. I'm not gonna get mad and, you know, jump down your throat and get all buttered over it and make a video out of bashing people about not liking what I say. Because sometimes I say stuff and then I watch the video over and I don't put it up because it's not what I wanted to say. It came out a different way than what I meant to say it, put it that way. Um, there's cars I don't like. There's cars I like. There's cars that I know a lot of people like that I'm not a huge fan of. But that's the way it is. I'm not a brand loyal guy. I don't just like Fords. I like them all. I really want a Hellcat someday. I really want to see a Camaro. And I really want to see 7 and a C6 Camaro. Uh, C6 Corvette, I mean, not Camaro. I really want a Camaro too. I'd love to have a ZL1 with a 10 speed. And honestly, I'd love to have another PP1 that runs good and not, doesn't have issues. That'd be a dream. Someday, if I could pick one up cheap, like I said before, I'm going to have one. But right now, I'm going to build up this 14 for the next few years and get it as fast as I can get it to go. And if 
once I get the motor done, maybe I'll, it'll be to where I want it. But right now, I'll be straight up to you guys. The 14 isn't what I want it to be. It's not, it wasn't, it don't shift fast. It's not, it's not the greatest of cars for me. It's, it's a good car and I'm not going to knock it in that sense because it does seem to be a, a very good car, well built, but it's not the perfect platform to build off of if you're trying to build something. And I can see why a lot of guys get rid of their 14s and go to the 15s and 17s and go definitely to the 18s and 19s. The 10 speed is a game changer. The 15 and 17s aren't that great either, but definitely the 6R80s. I just think the 6R80 is a little slow and shifting and I'd like the 6R80 to be a little bit uh, closer in gear range. You know what I mean? Where the 10R80 just shifts through gears real quick, the 6R80 seems to have a long uh, span between gears. That's the only thing I have bad to say about 6R80. I know that they're pretty stout and they can handle a lot of power. And we're going to see what mine does. Hopefully it can handle a lot of power because that's what I plan on throwing at it someday. Not right now, but someday. So, but me getting back to YouTube, uh, I started the channel thinking I was going to, you know, have good, you know, a lot of subs real quick, but it's not like that. Some channels, it seems like it blows up and it seems like the more you ride people's coattails and, and join, join their little gang on YouTube and you, you start following guys and, you know what I mean? And trying to be nice to everybody and never talk bad about anything or, you know what I mean? It seems like the more you get on these bigger YouTuber channels and you get to them on your side to where they come and watch your stuff, the more views you get. My problem is the bigger YouTuber guys don't seem to ever watch my stuff. I don't know if it's because uh, I used to go on some of their things and say, you know, comments. And I think I got the name around that I'm just, you know what I mean, I, that I, uh, I had problems with my car and people got mad at it. Honestly, guys, I really don't care about that. It was true. Nothing I said was a lie. So, I mean, I think that a lot of guys just need to get over it. And a lot of guys I know, they're like, well, we can't talk bad about our cars now because, you know, it's our certain our channel ratings. Honestly, guys, I really don't care. If, if it happens to my car, you guys are going to know about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. Like I said before, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I had problems with my car. Not everybody does. Some guys go out. I like watching the guys go out and beat on their cars. And they have no issues. I like watching the guys go out and beat on their cars and they blow up. It's just, that's why I watch YouTube. It's like watching a NASCAR race. Most guys don't watch NASCAR for the race. They watch it for the wrecks. So that's what I look for when I watch YouTube. But uh, now that I'm vlogging and stuff, uh, I'm going to tell you, it's not that bad, guys. Vlogging isn't that hard. It's it's actually a lot easier, and it's not as much of uh, work as going out and doing the drag race and stuff like I do. The drag race and stuff's hard to edit it all together and make it look decent. I mean, I get a lot of drag racing videos, and I don't even put them in because they look horrible after you're done watching them. I mean, definitely when I'm doing them in car, some of them come out horrible. They look like shit, so... You gotta just pretty much throw it away because it's not good. It's not worth the content putting it out there. And I try to put out the best I can for you guys. I don't try to put out a bunch of garbage. But I mean, like some of my earlier videos, I know they're not the greatest. And even these ones now, they're not. I'm not. You know, I'm not up to Xander's or Stang Mode's quality or anybody like that. Anybody of these guys that are doing, you know, big things. But doing my best to put them out there the best way I can. But I'll tell you, if you guys watch this video and you're thinking about vlogging, and you haven't vlogged yet. Uh, I think Jack, determined veteran, and Mike J and Al the Coyote Car Guy, all those guys that called me and talked to me about it, they really pushed me in this direction to do this stuff. Uh, they pushed me to make to go on and vlog. They said, just try it out. If you don't like it, you can stop. It's not like you're, no one's twisting your arm to keep doing it. But now that I'm vlogging, this stuff ain't, this is, it's really not that hard. I do it on my way to work, so it's easy. I mean, I throw the camera up in my truck and drive and talk to you guys, and it seems like it gets views, and I'm hoping more views, but someday, but right now I'm happy with the, you know, 60 views, 80 views, That's I'm, I'm cool with that. That's more than what I got on my racing stuff. It would take me, you know, a month to get 80 views on my racing stuff. So I always thought people would, like, when I watch most guys' videos, I watch it for the racing. I usually fast forward and, you know what I mean? I watch it, but when I'm fast forwarding it so I can find the racing and then I slow it down and watch the race. But it seems like most people like the talking. I just, me personally, I didn't really care for the talking, but if you guys like that stuff, I can talk all day. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, talking's pretty easy for me. It comes like second nature, you know what I mean? I'm, I don't mind talking. I just, it's nice if people leave comments and want to hear what you want to talk about. I mean, I'd love to do talks to where we can uh, conversate back in the comments. It's great. I mean, I, like I said, I'm not the expert in anything. I'd like to learn a lot of stuff from you guys. And a lot of you guys have a lot more knowledge, so it's cool to have the knowledge come back. from. Because I'll talk gibberish sometimes and not know what I'm talking about. And it's nice to have you guys correct me. You know what I mean? Like stall converters. I know nothing about guys. Nitrous, uh, turbos, superchargers. I know nothing about them. I'm just reading and trying to guess what I want to buy off of other people's, you know, videos. I just like what they have and I want to have that. So this is the talk today, guys, about YouTube and why I started it and where I wanted to go and kind of where I wanted to go. I'll probably talk more about it some other time, but thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all your guys' comments and everything you guys have been doing lately. It's really nice. It's a very supportive feeling. 
So, I thank you guys for everything.